going on guys? It's Steve. So, there was a lot that went on last night in the NBA. Now, I'm not going to do these type of videos every single day. I'm just doing it because, hey, it's the beginning of the season. This is only the night two of the NBA season. We still have, every most teams still have 81 games left in the season. You know what I mean? So, the Toronto Raptors came out and beat the Detroit Pistons. 109-91. DeMar DeFrozen. I predicted this. Is no longer the Frozen. He is the Rosen. I told you guys this. Him and Kyle Lowry struggling in the playoffs for the last two years will give them a wake-up call and they are going to get better. And look what happened. I know it's just one game, but look what happened. Damar DeFrozen. It's the Rosen now, Steven. Watch yourself. Damar DeRozan is a top 20 player in this league. He is a scoring nightmare for the opposing team. Hope he gets more efficient, but still, 40 points. What a freaking beast. Let's move on to the Milwaukee Bucks defeating, actually, the Charlotte Hornets defeating the Milwaukee Bucks, 107 to 96. Kemba Walker did his thing. It was, it, was, it was an all right game. You know, I didn't watch every single game. I was switching from here and there um, from, what's it called? The one game I couldn't watch, what game was on TNT? Uh, there was a game on not or ESPN. I couldn't watch it because I have League Pass and my dumbass hasn't set up my ESPN Go app yet, which I, I, I'm doing right now, which I'm going to do after this video. You know what I'm saying? So there's that. So I didn't get to see whatever game was on ESPN. But I was switching between most games. Uh, the game that was the most interesting to me was Indiana versus Dallas. That was a great game. Indiana versus Dallas was elite. It came down to the wire, man. It came down to around the last five minutes in the fourth quarter. But the Indiana Pacers came out on top. And then we have the Memphis Grizzlies defeating the Minnesota Timberwolves 102-98. to A lot of people saying the Minnesota Timberwolves are going to be a playoff team this year. Nope. They're just not going to make it. There's too many. Listen, man, the West, it's back, man. The West is back. You know, the Memphis Grizzlies, they're back. The Clippers, they're back. You got the Spurs, the Warriors, the Clippers. You have the Trailblazers. You have the Memphis Grizzlies. You have the Houston Rockets. You have the Utah Jazz. You know what I mean? Which means there's one spot left, and I'm probably forgetting a team. You know what I'm saying? So there's that. The Dallas Mavericks, you know what I mean? So there's that. You know, so there's, there's too many solid teams in the Western Conference. Too competitive. Um, okay, so the Lakers beat the Houston Rockets 120-114. to 114. That was also a pretty good game. Um, again, I don't remember which game was on ESPN. I know I saw part of the OKC game, but whatever. Sacramento beat Phoenix 113-94. to OKC beat Philly 103-97. to And the Denver Nuggets beat the New Orleans Pelicans 107-102. to And the stat of the night, besides Westbrook almost having a triple-double, 32-11-9, like I predicted, Anthony Davis dropped 50 points. Oh my freaking goodness. He dropped 15 points, 16 rebounds, and 7 blocks in his NBA debut for the 2016-17 NBA season. What kind of player drops 50, 16, and 7 in a game in a season opener? That's absolutely ridiculous. This dude is too freaking good. Now, he's not the best player in the world, but he's still freaking elite. He just needs good players around him, just like everyone else. So, again, the stat lines of the night. DeRozan with 40 points. Anthony Davis, 50, 16, and 7. That's, that's ridiculous, man. Westbrook, 32, 11, and 9. Jordan Clarkson and D'Angelo Russell played extremely well. Jordan Clarkson had 25 points. D'Angelo Russell had 20. They combined for 45 points. That was elite. Tonight, we have some good games as well. We have the Washington Wizards versus Dwight Howard making his NBA debut in his, well, his Atlanta Hawk debut against the Wizards. That's going to be an epic game. It's at 7 p.m. Be sure to check it out because I'm going to be checking it out. You know what I mean? And hopefully, one of my goals is to get my own NBA TV show. I have this all planned out. It's not going to be just me talking like this. We're going to be doing sneaker shopping, going to games in real life, and things like that. We're going to start it on YouTube. You know what I'm saying? I'll talk about that at the end of the video, if y'all want to stay and, and hear that. Because some big news coming, man. Some big news. I'm going to have a TV show on this channel coming very, very soon. But I'm going to keep it on the low. 
I've been swagging on the line. <laughs> Let me stop, man. All right. I'm too excited about the NBA. I'm just, I'm too excited about the NBA, man. 8 p.m. on TNT, we have Boston, which beat, <sighs> listen, Isaiah Thomas, did you have to, did you have to defeat my second favorite team, the the Brooklyn Nets? Did you, did you, did you have to defeat my New York team? Did you have, you, you couldn't just let us win. Bad enough, we lost by 29 points to the Cleveland Cavaliers, but you had to go and beat up on us too. So, so, so you're gonna tell me that both the New York Knicks and the Brooklyn Nets are at, that's what that's what you're telling me? Okay, I I, I see you, Isaiah Thomas. So, uh, my team, my second favorite team, you guys don't know, are the Brooklyn Nets. I used to watch them on Yes Network when they were back in what was that name of the arena? Uh, I don't even remember. Back in the New Jersey Nets days, though. But I will say this: that, um, TNT, Boston vs Chicago. I, I cannot wait to watch that. Dwayne Wade, Jimmy Butler, and Rajon Rondo were looking extremely great in the um, preseason. The way they were passing, moving the ball, they were looking like, oh my God, they were looking like, it, it was ridiculous. Like the Spurs combined with the Golden State Warriors combined with LeBron, Kyrie, J.R. Smith, the way they passed to each other, it was, it was looking great. It, they were looking great, man. I can't wait to see them play against the Boston Celtics. Dwayne Wade, you know I'm one of your biggest fans. You better kick Isaiah Thomas's ass. For what he did to my Brooklyn Nets. You better kick his ass. Excuse me for cursing. Okay, so, and we also have the Sacramento Kings and the San Antonio Spurs. But my favorite game of tonight. The Los Angeles Clippers versus the Portland Trail Blazers. That is going to be such an epic freaking game. I cannot wait to see the Los Angeles Clippers versus the Portland Trail Blazers. It's going to be absolutely epic. Now, a lot of you guys were asking me to do live stream every single day. I will be doing that for you guys starting tomorrow because my roommate is going to be gone for the weekend. He's going, he's driving up to Georgia to his dad. I'm so freaking hyped because this kid watches PewDiePie while I'm trying to watch the basketball game. Last night, you know what I had? I, I had, yo, me and him are cool sometimes, but this dude, like, I always have my headphones on because it's, it's respect, you know what I mean? But this dude, it's like he thinks he's the only person in the room. It's like he thinks, he, he it's like he doesn't have any self-awareness. This guy will literally come in take his shirt off with his pot belly, drink 20 th things of soda, throw the soda all over the floor, and then he'll turn on his TV hella loud, and I'm like, uh, are you crazy? Turn that shit down. <laughs> you know, I'm nicer than that because I'm a nice person. I don't like to be mean to people, but it's getting to the point where I'm about to erupt. I'm about to burst. Be pause. I'm about to erupt because every damn day, can you turn it down? Can you put your headphones in? You see I'm watching something. Why can't you put your headphones in like me? One day, and I, I'm playing with it. I'm like, hey, Brett, can you turn it down? I'm trying to watch TV. He's like, yeah, yeah. What? Yo, one time, I told him. I was like, yo, you know, you, you, see me watch, you see me watching TV. Why are you turning your TV on so loud? You, you see me with my headphones on. Why can't you put yours on? He's like, well, I can't because I don't want to. I was like, uh, are you stupid? <laughs> that was what? Yo, <laughs> let me stop. Cause you know I'm from Brooklyn, so we don't we don't take shit, man. But I'm a nice person, so if it keeps happening, your, your boy's gonna erupt one day, one day. But I'm I'm trying to keep cool. It's only a few more weeks. I think five weeks left in the semester, and then I'm <laughs> changing roommates. I ain't fucking with this motherfucker anymore. Anyway, let's move on to my TV show. Oh, back to the live stream thing. So yeah, live streaming every day starting Friday. Uh, let's see. On weekdays, I'll probably live stream around six or seven o'clock. Uh, Friday, I'll probably live stream. Around 5 o'clock, maybe a little earlier, maybe later, because on weekdays, you know, people are in school and things like that, so that's why I upload later on weekdays, but on weekends, Saturday and Sunday, I usually up around, up around 12 and 3, whereas weekdays is around 3 and 6, so uh, on the weekend, I'll probably live stream around 1 o'clock and Sunday, 1 o'clock as well, so Saturday and Sunday, there you go, and then weekdays, anywhere from 5 to 7 or maybe 8, but now to the big, big news, this is going to be so freaking epic. We are going to have, it's not a TV show. We'll say, I don't want to say this, it sounds corny, a webisode. It's, we're going to have a webisode, a series, a web series. It's not going to be like Inside the NBA. And I got to talk to you guys about that the, at the end of this video as well. It's not going to be like Inside, not Inside the NBA. Um, What's it called, man? Uh, My Journey to the NBA. It's not going to be like that. 
It's not going to be the Guess Who Challenge, which I haven't done in a while. I apologize. Hurricane Matthew, the basketball court is screwed up. I can't. But I'll get to that at the end of the video. It's not going to be like anything like that. It's going to be... Uh, here's the thing. It's going to be a combination of a whole bunch of series on this channel, but it's going to be vlog type, vlog style. It's going to be absolutely epic. I cannot freaking wait. Woo! We have so much. I have so much planned, man. And hopefully... It'll turn into a, a TV show on NBA TV one day. You never know. I doubt it, but you never know. Always have high hopes. But anyway, back to my NBA journey. Uh, so recently, I've been struggling with uh, lack of motivation. You know, it happens. You always hit a dry spell. You'll be grinding so hard for so long. One little thing will happen. Like what? What, what happened to me? They didn't even. They didn't even post when the tryouts were. They just had a closed try. They didn't. They, that's stupid. Anyway. So I played with some of the players on the on the team, and I busted their ass. So I know damn well I would have been in there dropping 50. No, let me stop. I, I, I probably would have been averaging around 15 to 20. But that's not the point. The point is that really screwed me over because I worked so hard for the summer to prepare for tryouts, and they didn't have tryouts. And I'm like, are you kidding? Are you kidding me? You know what I'm saying? So that kind of threw my motivation off. And then Hurricane Matthew and the basketball court was screwed up. So now... I'm, I'm getting back into it. I've been working out like crazy this week. Um, the basketball court is cleared now. I saw it earlier today. It's cleared. I can go ahead and start grinding on the court. So expect my NBA journey. Expect, uh, what's that other series called? Uh, Guess Who Challenge coming back. Everyone's asking, where the hell is the Guess Who Challenge, Steven? It's coming, guys. It's coming. Anyway, guys, I love you guys. I'm out. Man, I can't, I can't wait till I go home, dog. Anyway, I'm out. Peace.